the blog has helped me learn how to communicate with other people and how to share information in a way that you have to be more formal rather than just communicating with one person because you're communicating with a wide audience or pretty much anyone who has the internet. Okay, this is my latest post. As you can see, this picture kind of failed on me. But it's the best gym activity survey because I'm going to give like my teacher an idea of maybe what we should do for a gym activity. We're kind of running out of those. And then I have a fun, my fun pack day, just one of the events I did. And then I went to a soccer tryout. And then I, um, I'm very interested in soccer. So one of the things I do is leave tips on uh, how to, like, and I leave tips on, say, the bicycle kick. That's a guy doing a bicycle kick, and that's kicking a soccer ball, which most people know to do. It's just a little more advanced. And then that's a project we did in class. We had to draw a portrait, your favorite sports survey. And then I have lots of posts. I can go to previous entries, but I'll just show you the top here. That's my blog banner, and it's Nicholas's soccer blog for soccer fans. And on my cluster map, I have all these dots here. I have one from Portugal, England. That's the Netherlands, and then two from Africa, India. That is, uh, I think, Israel or Egypt, and then China, Indonesia, Australia, and Ecuador. One strategy I use is I uh, get a comment on teachers' blogs, lots of teachers' blogs, and if, say if I have a survey, I'll ask them to get their students to take part in my survey. Another way I attract visitors is by leaving a question at the end of my post to make it easier for them to comment. Hi, I'm Chelsea from Ms. Smith's class, and um, Ms. Smith has taught me a lot about blogging. We first started blogging after we went to Hornby Camp in September, and we, the teacher said that we had to have exactly five posts ready before we could choose our theme. I thought that was really fun to choose our own theme on our blog, and I'm really enjoying the posts that I'm writing, and I think a lot of other people are too. This is my favorite post because it tells a lot about my new cats that I got in August. They're three months old, and they're very cute, and I like this post especially because I, um, I actually had a good topic, and I knew what I was going to write when I, while I was writing it, and um, I have three paragraphs, so it's the longest post I've had so far, and I'm really proud of myself for that. Okay, hi, my name is Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Do you like writing? Uh, I don't really like writing with my hand. I just like typing it in, because yeah, I'm just playing a bunch of so what's your blog about, Christopher? It's about, like, I'm mainly reviewing video games. Some of them are newer, some of them are older. Where do you find the video games that you review? Well, most of them either my friends or I have. And often, like, I, I just, like when I'm really into a game, I'll just play it and find out everything I can. Well, Basically, whenever I have some free time, like if I'm not doing homework or something, I'll try and find something to write about. And usually I do it on my mom's laptop. Well, right now I have 18 posts and four drafts on it. Most of these are about video games. Some of them are assigned. So I understand that you embed quite a few YouTube videos on your blog, am I right? Yeah, I, I do. I use them on most of my game posts. Now, why can't we see those YouTube videos when I'm looking at your blog now? Well, right now I'm thinking because it's at our school and I'm thinking that they block off the videos. Can you, at can home, like, they, they always work, but... So how does it make you feel when you can't see them at school? Well, just sometimes make me frustrate because the first time that I embedded one at home, I came to school eager to show my friends it, but it wouldn't work. Okay, that looks really good. Thank you so much, Christopher. So what's your name? Wood. And uh, how long have you been writing your blog? Uh, about a month and a half now. That's not very long. 
Have you enjoyed becoming a blogger? Yeah, I've never, I've never done it before, but it's a lot of fun. And what do you enjoy about blogging? Just writing about my passion. I'm passionate about NASCAR and how I write it is I write about how the race went and everything after I watch it. How good my guy did, and my favorite's Dale Jr., so I always write about him on this. It's just a lot of fun blogging. And can you tell me why this post was your favorite? Because it's the longest, and it has almost, or quite a bit, quite a few comments. So why do you like getting comments on your blog? And it just shows that I have that I can write pretty good and that uh, I have pretty intriguing sentences and stuff. So people are telling you they like what they see on your blog, is that what happens? Yeah. And that motivates you to write, I bet. Mm -hmm. Gives me a lot of motivation. Yeah, because I've been doing it for quite a while. Before we started blogging, I could only type like one word in three or four seconds, but now I can type one word in half a second. So you've gotten to be a lot faster. Do you think you're a better writer in terms of what you say as well? Um, yeah, because I wasn't very descriptive when, like last year, but now I've gotten a lot better, I feel. Way to go. Thank you so much, Boyd. You're welcome. Okay, I'm Haley. And I absolutely love blogging. I blog at home whenever I have spare time. It'll be 8 o'clock at night and I'll still be on the computer blogging. And to me, blogging is like, it's um, another part of me. Okay, one part of me is the musical person. The other part of me is a blog person, completely writing, writing everything. And I like getting feedback from my readers because it... It, um, I get different opinions, and it, it can tell me what I did do right, what I didn't do right. Um, and I've asked so many of my friends that don't have a blog, I'd say, if you had a blog, would you write in it? They say, what's a blog? I explain it to them, and they're just like, wow, I didn't know, like, that's the coolest thing. And I say, I know. So do you think writing the blog has helped you to become a better writer? Yes, definitely. And how has it done that? Because usually when I write stories, I write it in a notebook and stash it away in my room. I don't let anybody see it. But now that I'm blogging, the whole world can see it. And at first I was a bit um, nervous to see if anybody would actually like my writing. But I have um, lots of readers that come back. And I'm really excited about that because um, I get to speak out and... Um, let people know who I am and let people know that I can write and it kind of, it's just, my blog is like me. It's like a virtual me. Yeah, so whatever I write about has something to do with me or something to do that happened in the world. And I like to give, I like to talk about how, I like to talk about things that really happened. And a lot of my posts are actually based on what really happened. It's the truth.